pia kuna safari nyingi za mwito kuna wale ambazo ambao karama zao zinaonekana wazi wale ambao for instance ukienda katika kitabu cha Efeso 4 aya 11 Ephesians chapter 4 verse 11 you can confirm there is not the calling that is exposed for instance Bible inasema kwamba naye alitoa wengine kuwa mitume na wengine kuwa manabii na wengine kuwa waigiristi na wengine kuwa wachugaji na waalimu but now you see no these are offices of call uni mwito mtu ambao ni apostle ni apostle hata akiwa bedroom hata akiwa kochoo hata akiwa na pada anavuna ako kwa matatu apostle ni apostle kuna katika hali ya huduma kuna yale mambo ambayo huchukua maisha ya mtu akiwa yote it, it takes the entire lifestyle na katika mambo ambayo huchukua maisha ya mtu akiwa yote yani ni mwito ni amri Mungu anakupindua lazima uishi hivyo ni haya mambo matano mtu kuitwa awe mtume mtu kuitwa awe nabii mtu kuitwa awe mujiristi na mtu kuitwa awe pasta na mwalimu note it is one thing to go for an open air na uhubiri is another thing to be an evangelist evangelist sio tu kuhubiri evangelist ni kitu it's like now the way we come naona mtu kama bonki bonki usiku na mchana everything hata kukura kuvaa kila kitu ni mjiri alikuwa mjiristi the way we come naona mtu kama kama tie rosbon ah ah ni mwito mwito ni kitu mungu anakuambia kutoka leo utakuwa hivi yani sio tu kuhubiri utakuwa mhubiri and did you understand that sio tu kutoa unabii utakuwa nabii there's a difference between kutoa unabii na kuwa nabii kuwa nabii sasa is wewe mwenyewe you are prophet kutoa unabii ni kutabiri tu unaweza toa unabii lakini wewe sio prophet hallelujah praise god bwana sana Waweza kuhubiri mkutano wa ujiristi na watu waokoke na wewe si mjiristi. Kuna kuhubiri na kuna kuwa mhubiri. Haya, moja ni karama, mwingine ni mwito. Haya, for instance, unaweza iba hapa upresent wibo watu wabarikiwe. Kuna kuiba wibo na kuna kubadilika sasa wewe ni mwibaji everything everything hata wewe hubarikiwa na uibaji eh kama kuna fefa uko nao ni katika uibaji kama watoto watasoma ni katika uibaji kama nyumba yako itasimama katika uibaji you have a, you have that as a calling it's one thing to present a song it's another thing to be muibaji katika level ya mwito now kuna zire kuna katika sasa zingine zinaitwa zinaitwa karama karama za utendaji kazi hizi hazionekani sana for instance ukiangalia kitabu katika biblia utaona katika warumi kumi na mbili aya ya sita romans chapter 12 verse 6 romans chapter 12 verse 6 utaona hao sasa hao si ni wa aha hao ni watu about in the church mambo yao sasa inaitwa wax the gift of wax usi kama nabii usi kama pastor usi kama apostle hao sasa kazi yao inaitwa wax wax sasa ukiangalia utaona kwamba for instance Ephesians 12 verse 6 basi kwa kuwa tuna karama zilizo baribari kwa kadri ya neema mlivyopewa ikiwa unabii tutoe unabii kadri ya imani ikiwa huduma tuwemo katika huduma like now hii huduma huduma inaitwa the gift of ministering 
Hao sana sana hautaona hapa mbele. Lakini wao ndio hushikilia wa huduma. Kitabu mimi nisimame hapa kuna mtu alikuja akaweka hii akaweka hii mkeka, akaweka hii curtain hii, akaweka hii akapanguza, akaweka hizi drum, drum set. Kitabu hii sauti ifike. Kuna mtu alikuja akapaga hiyo kiti, kuna mtu jana alikuja akaosha hiyo floor. Kuna mtu alikuja hapa four akaingia kwa choo akaitengeneza hao watu hawaonekani lakini kazi yao ni kuada huduma Hello praise God They are not pastors they are not apostles they are not prophets but they prepare for the prophet They prepare for the apostle they prepare for the evangelist Kitabu mwijiristi aigie kwa uwaja kutahitaji watu wakwenda waweke hema waweke hiyo platform waweke vyombo hao watu hawataonekana akihubili lakini hao ndio waliada huduma yake zinaitwa the gift of works hizo zinaada jia ili mwenye ameitwa ahudumu bwana asifiwe sana Hallelujah. Sometimes when nimefika sometimes nasikia kama naenda safari Britain nahitaji gift of work. Mtu aende mbele zangu. Ajue ni talara wapi. Hello praise God. Amen. Guo zangu zitakaa wapi? Nasikia kiburi mimi kuna wakati. Unless niwe na mtu around hata naweza vaa guo vibaya kwa maana akili yangu iko kwa huduma nikienda kuangalia socks nasikia kama wazimu this is not my work nasikia kipuli akili hala praise god hallelujah you have so many things unakimbisha mambo ah umelalo kiomba kwa muko fikiria utavaa nini is a disturbance hallelujah kuamuka nione ninapaguza nina, nina kiatu nasikia it is too much i'm so i'm overworking lakini ukiamuka usikuwa ukiwa kwa hapo iko tayari vaa hii cha iko tayari chukua bibiria sasa ni hapa sasa tabiri you feel now ile kitu Mungu alinipa hakiki kwa na interference it's as pure as god wanted hallelujah hao watu wanaitwa praise the lord bwana sana when I talk gift of works, they prepare for the prophet. They prepare for the apostle. They prepare. Na hao dio siku moja Yesu aliwatazama. Because Jesus alikuwa nao. Kristo alikuwa nao. Na Yesu one day akawatazama. Akasema atakaye pea na mbiki kobe ya maji. Kwa sababu ni nabii atapewa ujira wa huo nabii. Jesus watch as people give them, give him water. Kiwa uliokae mona pige kwa kia mai. You know, you may not know it. Hallelujah. Amen. Lakini si wote wanaweza hiyo. Mimi kuna mtu tukiana naye nasikia God I appreciate like anisubua akili. Haelewi. Nikitaka hivi anataka hivi. Hello praise God. Bwana sasana. I just want them ni chukua taxi. And then I nikada mkutano mkubwa sana wa mabishop na mapastors walikuwa 1000 wako prayer and fasting. It was a serious meeting. Serious meeting. Ni ule mkutano ambao unahitaji kuwa ni kama umetoka tu biguni uanguke useme that is the lord so sikuwa nataka sikuwa nataka hallelujah sikuwa nataka kuendesha gari sikuwa nataka nikotaka mtu tu na sikuwa nataka driver ambaye ni careless watu wajui kwamba unaweza beba mtu ukibeba mtu ukute kila wakati na shika hii kitu hapa juu hivi unajua you are careless driver amujajua hivyo that's why wale watu wana drive magari ya kina uhuru na kinaruto how wanaenda training nyingine 
sio tu defensive kuna ile training unaambiwa mwenye umebeba hatakiwi kusikia ukiruka bambu mwenye unabeba hatakiwi kusikia kanyaga break hivi atenyi no no just watch those unaweza kanyaga break na hasikii ukiona ana drive ukiona umenibeba na silali you are careless i'm supposed do not get drive because nataka kutoka hapa kitabu jana nashukuru brother brother kioga inaweza jana nilala kidogo jana nilikuwa kwa gari nilikuwa nasema sina driver around i don't know what to do nilikuwa nataka kuchukua nataka kuhubiri why nimelala kesha i'm tired kwa kiasi kia nina ujupe nataka tu from here paka lawai ndipo muziki tukidogo praise god and praise the lord because i'm going to be no make sure nimelala because i want to fix why i am now the flesh praise the lord inakuwa a gift kama unabeba mtu wa born prophet don't just be a driver hello praise god mulizikia kuna a very you know somebody told me bishop do you know tulituma tukuwe na tumejaribu kukuwa na accident which means driver must be prayerful Hallelujah. And that's why ukiangalia Yesu alikuwa na that group. If you go to the book of uh, Luke chapter 8, Luke chapter 8. Luke chapter 8 inasema hivi. Ikawa baada ya haya alikuwa akizunguka zunguka katika miji na vijiji akihubiri na kuitangaza habari jema ya ufama wa Mungu na wale the nashara walikuwa pamoja naye i want us to see the difference between Luke chapter 8 verse 1 and verse 2 now Luke chapter 8 verse 1 inaongea kuhusu wa huduma who are they Jesus Christ and the 12 disciples those are wa huduma But ukienda verse 2 inasema nini? Inasema hivi. Na wanawake kadha wa kadha ambao walikuwa pe, na pepo wa mbaya na magonjwa wakaponywa. Nao ni Mariamu aitwaye Magdalene aliyetokwa na pepo saba. Nitawaambia why sometime wale watu wanatembea na wahuduma they are product of that ministry hello praise god watu wengi ambao utatembea nao kwa prophet au kwa apostle ni watu ambao mafuto leo nao iliwaza they have the taste they have the understanding they have the respect for the anointing because bible nasema these women Inaanza na kusema vile mafuta ya Yesu iliwafanyia. Inasema walikuwa pepo na pepo wa mbaya na walikuwa na magonjwa wakaponywa. Nao ni nani? Mariamu aitwaye Magdalene aliyetokwa na pepo saba. Verse 3. Na Yohana mkwewe kuza wakili wake Herode na Susana na wengine waliokuwa wakimhudumia na mali yao. Can I tell you the truth? These women are never seen anywhere in the scriptures. But they are the women who made sure Christ was making lunch. They are the women who made sure Jesus jioni atarara wapi. They are the women who made sure kwamba Yesu maji kwa bathroom imewekwa. They are the women who made sure kwamba guo za Yesu zimepelekwa dry cleaner. They are never seen preaching. But the Bible says, jambo lingine, hawakuwa wakitisha Judas pesa. Ukiona mtu anahudumu na kila kitu anandai kanisa aiko maneno. There are times unaosha kanisa lakini umeenda sio hapa jua kali kwa sabuni. I always tell people give God the best. The other day in the PTA supermarket nikaona a very good liquid soap kasema these 20 liters nataka ziwe zikiosha kanisa mm, mm, mm. you 
sio mama anayezunguka kiuza chemicals hapo natuletea dio kama iko na shida please god ninaweza sema kwa sababu market you are selling the wrong product sometimes nataka niweke fridge kubwa sana pale nikipitia pale nione nyama ya maana naleta naweka hao yani una moyo wa kuhudumia kanisa na mali yako kuna watu hata pika mpaka mnuria nyama yako hakuna pesa hao hao si wabaya lakini kuna mali wamepakisha kitu hello praise god atakayonua hii kaspoji ya mike lazima kulipishe hii receipt draka uri ya ya 50 the high No these women they never consulted hawakwenda kwa nafusama ile sadaka mlitoa leteni tuwanulie chakula bible says wali muhudumia kwa mali yao they wanted to tap the anointing they want to tap the anointing jesus ni wewe ulituombea pepo saba zikatoka ni wewe uliniombea nikapona ni wewe uliniombea kansa ikaisha ni wewe ulinilea mpaka nikajua kuna nuru ningetaka kuhudumia hayo mafuta na mali yangu pigeni Yesu makofi Now sasa hii inaitwa level ya work How do you want kuvuna baraka sana they prepare for the ministry Mwenye alikuja kapaguza hizo viti kama alipanguza akiwa na moyo msafi hii ni huduma Naombe amebarikiwa kuliko wewe ambaye umekalia kiti. Kama atajua siri, atajua nini? Siri. Haleluya. Nasa sometimes nakuta mtu ame kitabu aosha kanisa, amepa God, ninaosha hii kanisa. Ninaomba. Dude, hamjui kwamba huduma yote is a prayer item, is a prayer. Ninaomba Mungu nikiosha hii kanisa utakapokuwa ukiponya watu ukumbuke mzazi wangu god sometime does not just hear you he needs a point of contact kama vile unasikiliza waya hivi kuwe na kitu kinashikanisha wewe na miracle kuna watu ambao hamjui siri you just appear on sunday to pray baba shuka niponya and then you walk out tutafurisha kitu katika huduma Mungu ana mambo mengi anagojea mawili maneno umesema sawa hii sasa tenda kitu cha kuonyesha kwamba uliposema unanipenda what did you mean wamama ambao mmeolewa habari yenu na wazee muda ikwambia nakupenda aseme sana unaweza mwambia na wakati wa kuogea umefika mwi ekodo nakupenda ah sawa hiyo nilisikia sasa matendo naye Mungu kamjua Mungu kuna hiyo kuna wakati wa kuburu baba nakupenda haleluya e, sawa hiyo mesema nataka kuona jabo abao linaongea an action that speaks an action inaosema uliponiambia unanitumikia unanipenda unanimaanishaje that's why in the temple haugemaliza ibada kama huna sacrifice sacrifice iyonge baba nilipokuambia na kuheshimu sasa kusema tuani sadaka ukiangalia sana sana tunatoa sadaka baada ya worship we don't give offering kabla because sadaka ni dia ya kuambia Mungu nilipokuwa nasema wewe wa, wastahili this is what i meant sasa what happens kama mjui kuna ibada inaish, kuna ibada that disappears katika offering for instance kaini alifanya kazi nyingi walitembea na Mungu alipewa kazi ya ukulima lakini aliisha tu wakati bwana alitisha fast fruit akakosa kutoa vizuri that was over 
akabona no kaini ningetaka urekebisha kasema hakurekebisha there's a way you can serve god ikifika kutoa sadaka na fugu la 10 hapo waguke au ikifika kutoa sadaka na fugu la 10 bwana aone hakika yale uliniambia you are serious offering speaks and con- make contact and that's why these women walimtukiezo maria sasa hizi ni kazi ministering Hallelujah. Utaona katika hiyo kitabu tumesoma Romans kuna gift of help. Gift of help ni watu ambao kazi yao daima ni, ku, ni kushikilia wengine na, na kutoa vitu yao tusaidie maskini ku, yani kwenda hospitali gift of help, gift of mercy zimetajwa hapo zote katika hiyo Romans ni huduma ambazo hazitokei uzione lakini ndizo usikiria kanisa na hufanya kanisa iwe na test na kufanya kanisa praise god hallelujah tuseme una mazishi watu wakutane tu wachange pesa wa kusaidia wakati wa huzuni wakupeleke mazishi that has a meaning to you in the ministry hallelujah Bwana asifiwe sana. Bwana asifiwe. Bwana asifiwe. Ina sababu ya bishop kijana yangu aligojeka miezi kadhaa. Niliambia mtu. Ngabia dada hakufikisha report ungekuja. Na vile kijana yangu anapenda kanisa. Oh sawa. nikaambia oh ha ako na ule mafu aligojeka mpaka oh so no problem ako class on study it is okay anatahiriwa eh, kaambia now this time what i do nitamlipia hiyo mambo ya kwenda kutahiliwa na kila kitu sema so, oh sema so, now i know haya mume wake alikuwa ameanza kumwambia hii kanisa lenu hamkuje mtoto wangu kaambia muzabari yako ai ndisoro sikuja kuna kitu lakini si anatahiliwa e, na niambia kuna pesa e, nitalipa kila kitu nikusaidie umza sema bishop karibu dia kwa simu hiyo ni mambo ambao haionekani hapa but ndio inafanya injili injili inaonekana iwe na maana haleluya bwana sio sana Bwana asifiwe. Wengi hapa hasa nikuhubiria hapa nakumbuka na bishop siku moja alikuja kwetu. Mama yangu alikuwa mgonjwa. Haleluya. Nikuhubiria mase nikumbuka sasa. Haleluya. <laughs> Watu wengine hapa tumetoka bali. Wakati wa mase kuolewa mama yangu ambia bishop kuja hapa. Wakati baba ya huyu alikufa, ulisema dia baba. Eh baba akambia hivi. Bishop kama nataka kukana nataka hiyo video iletwe. Wengi wenu waide. Ngema dio nilisema. Sama sasa huyo baba sasa. Uwe baba. Hai yeye yeye yeye. Na nikawa baba. Na yeye masharia pande ingine wazazi wake tunapendana. Sasa ni kuwa baba pande gani? Yaani. Na nikawa baba hakika kai. Hii ilinisaidia sana. Habari ya dada kwa bura sasa hao tulia sana sasa hao hao waki, wakikula nyama kwao kule mahali yametoka Bab, babu aone hamkuniita anasema mume mliitia bishop hicho akula tu akutukula na yeye yani ni mambo fulani unafanya kule haionekani hapa but it gives meaning to the calling usio mtu ukatu kanisani kuna mambo mengine kanisani hufanywa ya no pea eh vi hebu kuja ni ni watatu hapa kuja mwagi ni asa kuna dada haya wakiogi haya eh ndio dada peke yako hapo ni kuogeza mwingine ati diogeze ukataka diogeze ndani Ule makana haya kuja wajoa 
atena tetebeka kwa peke yake haya ukiambia watu washikane mikono ateni wadu na wadada shikane mikono tuabudu kila mtu mkono mkono wa neighbor atoshikane mikono atwaobe hiyo kushikana mikono inaonekana lakini huu mkono kushika huyu na huu kushika hapa kushika hapa kuna mambo mengine yanatakiwa kufanywa ndio hii iwe na maana haleluya bwana asifiwe huyu anakumbuka haleluya wakati baba alikuwa mgonjwa na akaaga huwa alisimama na yeye inapea hii maana haleluya huwa anakumbuka harusi atakama huko ameokoka ulikuwa kwa kometi labda anakumbuka huwa anakumbuka Jawani alipozaliwa labda huyo alikotoa matanet. Kuna mambo hufanywa, hayaonekani hapa, lakini yanapea hii, hii, hii maana. Huyo sasa tulishughulika sana ndio mambo yake ya uibaji ya demo zuri na nini. Unaona sasa bishop palikuwa palikuwa sana. Bomji ana hiyo bali kana toka wapi? Lakini nikamwambia brother bwana nikimshika hivi naambia Mungu anakupenda. Mimi ni pasta wako. Kushika mkono hivi si haina maana kubwa kama hakuna kitu kingine kimetendeka kufanya ushiriki wa maana i mean the truth viu meketi hapo are you a church member how kuna watu hapa watatakaza kwa baba fulani baba yake ameaga you never appear tuna harusi ya mtoto fulani you never appear Jana sema tu hapa I was so happy when I caught somebody ni, ni dada ni saidia akabia bishop sasa niko England akabia akabia bishop Mungu anisaidie daima nikukumbuke daima kesha diri kana na unaweza sema it's okay akabia kama ni Yesu ni Yesu mahali ameenda wakamwambia leta hiyo simu wakabia bishop ulinilea akahesabu akahesabu na vile ndivyo leo umenilea sana bishop kabla oh, lini miaka ya 90s mikutano ya youth ni mara nyingi sana ulinisaidia hello praise god bwana asifiwe bwana asifiwe kuna wakati mmoja ni mke wa George Mungu alifanya nisikia kama kulia kama bishop Unakubuko lipitia kwetu. Ino mambo mengine ukubuki sikubuki. Ukatuachia shilingi 500. Ukapika kabla bishop hiyo siku hatukuwa na kitu ya kukula. Mimi siko najua. Sasa nikimwambia ndugu nakupenda Yesu nakupenda. Kuna kitu hapa iko mkono kushikana hivi. It, kuna mambo tunafanya that gives meaning to this. I pray that you give meaning to your membership. Give meaning now. Vile umekalia hiyo kitu give meaning to it, Lawrence. In Jesus name. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Kwa maana watu hawajui kwamba kuna kitabu tu. Kwa nini mwaacha mkono? Inaonekana hakuna kitu umefanyia huyu. Umenunuka kwa biacha leo. Modo mbona iko bega cha hiyo bodhe we. Aya get it bado abariki. Get it God bless you. Pigeni Yesu makofi. Zinaitwa the ministry of works. Sio mahubiri. Hallelujah. One day I met a young man hapa. Nikona amechanganyikiwa kama brother. Nini mbaya? Sa bishop ninaoa. Sawa najua. But bishop mama yangu ni nesiko mother. Na ni mama ambao ameteseka. Mimi ndio namlisha. Na kina anko, na kina baba mkupa sijui nini walituacha na niko na dawali nikamwambia sasa nikasikia tu something should happen nikakamua kabisa si pesa tuko si pesa tuko na nilikopa pesa pale 6000 maana anada dawali anatakiwa to 125000 nikaita vijana ambao najua wana muziki vijana kama kumi nikamwambia nimemuta huyu 60 hiyo 65 imebaki mjipange leo mniambia tutakapi by even our bishop 
tuko na ndawali mko na yes oh sitakuweko sasa lakini mumpeleke nitapea mzee mmoja it was cleared it gives meaning to ushirika kuitwa duka katika Yesu kuitwa na hiyo ndio kazi you should have works kuna kazi katika nyumba ya Bwana ambao Mungu alianza through me and that's why we are saying you should finish the race well finish the race well hao wa mama mnasikia walihudumia Yesu na mali yao kama hakungekuwa na mtu na kitu kingine nataka kuambia hivi wale watu hudumu hivyo hawagojei sana kwa boa kupewa shukurani umeona watu ambao wanadai sana lazima ambiwe thank you thank you kila wakati mtu ambaye whatever you do as a calling in most cases kile kinakuridhisha ni kuona watu wakibarikiwa na munga kitukuzwa that is enough to, te, to, to tell you thank you The way I see Kenya wako na afya hivi, watu wako ni wazuri, that is enough thank you. I don't you don't need to know about my bishop me thank you thank you no no no. Kukuona uko na afya. Kukuona mke wako toto nasema Mungu nakushukuru kazi inaendelea. Hao watu na mwito huo kile kile kinawafanya wasikie shukurani ni kuona matokeo. Sio kile wakati unampatia matia tisiwi karamu ya kuandika umpatia nini no 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 kwa maana is a deep touch of the kingdom pigiani yesu makofi anaweza haleluya kwa hivyo yesu alikuwa na those three categories kuna sasa yeye na wanafunzi wake kuna hii group nyingine ya wadada na watu waliokuwa wameponywa wamekobolewa wanamhudumia na mali yake who made sure wanakona menu kama yesu alikunywa uji asubuhi saa saba atakula mayai you never hear anywhere kristo alikuwa na kitchen kristo alikuwa na rara sidio where was his house kwa maana yesu hagrara kila nyumba alale kwa kwa alale kwa huyu alale kwa huyu katika kanuni ya self nani ni, nyo, ni vituo gani zilikuwa zimetengwa kwamba Yesu akienda Jericho huwa anara hapa We know Yesu akienda Bethany alikuwa anara kwa kina Lazaro That's why nasema he was his friend Kristo akienda Kapernaum kwa maana Yesu ni mwokozi hakira kila nyumba akakuwa bisa kiogi akoko wako ai ni mwokozi bwana Ni ni akina nani walijua nyumba ya heshima nyumba ya utukufu nyumba ya baraka ambao mwokozi wa talala who had dot his menu it's not said but these are the people this one this one manabii wa kilipwa watalipwa hao mitume wa kilipwa watalipwa brothers and sisters rise up and serve god where don't usihesabu kuwa mshirika wa kanisa ni kuketi hapo unasema bulletin kulikuwa na, maz, na mazishi inimalizwa you never you never hata mwenye amekufiwa hujui ni nani vijana wamefanya harusi vijana kumi kanisani ahoya hakuna hata wawili umeshikilia and yet unataka wakuite sister in christ brother in christ there's something that constitutes being a sister or a brother in christ it is has to be worked out pigeni yesu makofi kama mnashika injiri Haleluya. Now ukiangalia sasa Haleluya. Ndani ya kanisa kuna mambo matatu ya maana. Sasa acha niite sasa wewe na wewe. Sasa na Jose sasa sitaita haya. Na mukibie kama watu wabawa wanatumaini la uzima wa milele. Haya. Hey, joy kubeba ni mrefu. I thought uh, I've never thought when brother kuliko huyu. Eh? Eh? Yeah. And uh, it's part of you. Unajua kwa jamaa anaitwa Jaramogi Oginga. Alienda alienda wewe. Alienda buge na ile ile bakora yake. Speak up and now we. Muse, that's a weapon. Akasema no no no, this part of me. If you remove this from me, I'm not complete. 
Haya, asante sana. Haya. Sasa habari yenu. Mko na amani. Kani kama watu ambao wanaweza hubiri angalia kule kama watu ambao hawagopi watu na za hubiri wa za tabili wazimo tumo uko nyumbani ndani ya kanisa kuna ma, matatu kuna kitu kinaitwa wax huduma za utendaji kazi baba kingori ukija hapa saa tisa na nusu usiku kuna watu leo leo You fight intercessors. You fight was chana. Adada kama how I know them and I've come to discover some of the Sunday school teachers children and teenagers wanakuja mapema kutengeneza bulletin tiny girls. Utaona those people. Dio hii kanisa iwe mumeketi hivi haina vubi cho hainuki there are people who come wao watu wana karama hizo zinaitwa gift of ministering gift of help zinaitwa karama za utendaji kazi kwamba dio bishop ashike mike ahubiri na kuwe na watu wameketi na wako comfortable kusikia neno kuna kitu kilitendeka ili hiyo hali iwe Hallelujah. Hiyo mic sasa inaongea. Unaona Wilson ako pale ukija hapa for that utampata aliingia mapema. Dio hizi vitu ziandaliwe. Wewe kazi yako kuketi sasa, unaambia pokea baraka, unasikia mzuri. Kitabu ni hubiri. There's what we call the gifts of works. So many works. And the Bible says, Hallelujah. If you read the scriptures 1 Corinthians chapter 12 Kaya ni tu hapa wahubiri wenzangu eh I hope you are there eh uh-huh. 1 Corinthians chapter 12 I hope you have your bible with you that's the new testament chapter 12 Make sure you are there Make sure Staki usome ya screen nataka ufugue hata mimi nafugua ya Biblia. Mhm. Prof, thank you. Haya. Verse 4, 5 and 6 tutasoma hizo. Haya. Kanisani Agalia vizuri. Vaso ya samaje kuna tofauti ya karama bali roho ni yeye yule. Is that true? There is diversity of gifts. Lakini roho ni yeye yule. Tuseme huyu wa gift. Kanisani kuna gift. Ha, twende verse 5. There is differences of ministries huduma lakini sasa haisemi sasa roho check verse 5 imesema nani the lord this time haisemi roho yasema the lord bwana kuna tofauti za huduma lakini bwana ni yule ule sasa huyu ni huduma verse 6 kuna tofauti ya utendaji kazi inaitwa nini activities works king james version talks about works kuna diversity of works of operation works lakini roho ni yule lakini sasa this time sasa nani mungu ni yule yule sasa hapa ni nini karama huduma utendaji kazi kuna tofauti ya karama roho ni yule yule kuna tofauti ya huduma bwana ni yule yule kuna tofauti ya utendaji kazi mungu ni yule yule mshika three levels za kazi katika kanisani 
Hii ni karama Hizi ni huduma Na hizi ni utedaji kazi Sasa hii naitua kazi Hizi zinada kanisa kwa sababu ya huduma Amen Neo huduma inajenga kanisa Nazo karama zinadhibitisha kanisa For instance Wakati elija alikuwa kwa mulima Wakati alisema sasa itajulikana mungu wa kweli ni nani Aliobaji Fungua katika First Kings Kaya nitu hapo musiede First Kings chapter 18 Fungua hapo First Kings chapter 18 Fungua hapo First Kings chapter 18 Are you there? Can you please go there? Chapter 18 Inasema nini? Let's go there very quickly By the grace of God Verse 36 First Kings chapter 18 Verse 36 Ikawa wakati wakutoa thabi wa jioni Elia nambi akakaribia akasema e bwana mungu wa Ibrahimu na wa Isaka na wa Israeli amen haleluya nataka muangalie niwaambiaje karama ni za kuconfirm kudhibitisha kwamba tuna mungu karama ni zile vitu roho bwana hufanya Mpaka mtu wakiona hivyo najua Na hawa mungu wakona wawo Kama gani? Karama ya uponyaji Karama ya miujiza Karama ya ufunuo Haleluya Unapata kwa ba? Haya Mungu wameponya hii Na Jehovah hako hapo Uni kiweta metebea? Haya And God is with that church Haleluya Hiyo ni mapepo inatoka hivyo hii Na mungu wako hapi Ni hile levo inafika Mugu mwenyewe na guvu zake zinaonekana. Zinaitua karama. Sasa hii ya elija, sasa ni karama. Anasema leo nijibu. Na unijibu na moto. Kutoke moto wa biguni. Ambao hakuna mtu ameasha. Hakuna mtu duniani anaeza uda. Utoke na uje. Na unijibu hivo. Inaitua gift. Sasa hiyo ni gift of miracles. Gift of Perform a miracle Which one? Kutuke moto binguni Uchome nyama Uchome mifupa Uchome Atamawe Fire comes Na hawa watu wato waone Haka sema na unijibu leo Seme ni nijibu leo Hallelujah Haka sema nje Ukiagalia sasa kazi ya kalapa ni gani? Hebu tuagalia hapo Na sema nini? Ili ijulikane leo Ijulikane leo Ya kuwa wewe diwe Mungu katika Israeli Na jabra pili Na ya kuwa mimi ni mutumishi wako Na jabra tatu Na ya kuwa ni mefanya mambo hayo yote Kudero lako Unisikie e buwana Unisikie Ili hawa watu wajue Asa mi Sasa si maubi sasa Huduma hapa ni kuhubiri, pastor afudishe, eh, nini, lakini sasa si huduma sasa, ni karama. Karama ata si mahubiri, ni utedaji kazi, wagufu za mungu kwa jia abao, people you know that Jehovah is the true God. Ni wakati mungu anadhibitishwa kwa jia abao, hakuna mtu anaeza cheza na ye. Hallelujah. Nijibu It does two things How watu wajue kwamba You are the only God No one can compare with you Ii mamba ya watu kusema Siji Ii kanisa nijui nini Mungu Ekodo Dio ii mamba ya watu kuogea Ovio ovio mchezo mchezo Shaka zihisha wajue ukonasi Karama inadhibitisha mama tatu Mungu wa kweli akonasi Jabara pili Sisi ni mungu wa metuita Jabora tatu Huduma tulio nae ni mungu wa litupa I just say That they may know You are the only God Number two, I'm your prophet 
Number three, whatever I'm doing, ni wame nituma. Hallelujah! It confirms the true God, the true prophet, and the true ministry. Already ni huduma, o ni pastor, hii ni kanisa, o ni mutume, lakini, haya agaria, huu aliada, eh? Aliada madhabahu, haka washa kanisa, sidiyo, uka letea pastor maji, sidiyo, uka paga vile nyibo za kuwa, netuwa gift of works, kazi yako imeisha. Na ya huu aje, u ni mujiristi, mujiristi ni muhuduma sasa, evangelist ni muhuduma, apostle ni muhuduma, pastor ni muhuduma, ahubiri, 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 akihubiri tu, ni vizuri, si hata wakira wanahubiri, lakini, lazima kutoke hii. Akimaliza, Jehova ajibu na ishara. Sasa hii, inafanya hii huduma, isiwe tu kama huduma ya makanisa mengine au ya wengine. Ijulikane. Na hii kazi, hii, hii huduma, na hii kazi yote, Jehova wakweli, akona huyu. Na, amen, na kazi ya nao ifanya ni ya mungu, na mungu wa kweli anatabea na yeye it confirms god confirms the prophet and confirms the works of the church ketini sasa god bless you pigia isu kama mewa pigia isu makofi jameni hallelujah i'm saying today beside kuketi kanisani usikie kukiubiriwa there are things that are going on and you should be one of them either uko katika level ya works Leo nimesiku naona Miss Kyoga anakuja na mapema ile kachai unaniweka kama asubuhi pale. Do you know siku hizi hata kama nime kula breakfast nini nini nikiingia nikose wakati ulikuwa chai na wiki mbili mama Masi alijaribu sana. <laughs> na kama amechelewa naona ikai kasha ikali yake na hata kama nimekuja jubani. Sijui nikusikia kama mzuri nasikia yeye. Haleluya. Praise the Lord. Esa mtoni kuhubiri ni mechoka. Nasikia. Ika shaika. Kale ya hoka waki ugi. Hallelujah. Buwana ainuliwe. Buwana ainuliwe. Hallelujah. You see. There are things going on. Natafadhali kwa mana mkona shukuri nyingi. Between Sunday to Sunday. Naomba usikalie tukiti ya kanisa. Kuna tofauti ya kazi. Inata hivi. Kuna tofauti ya karama. Lakini roho ni yeye yule. Pana tofauti ya huduma. Lakini buwana ni yeye yule. Pana tofauti ya utedaji kazi. Lakini mungu ni yeye yule. Hallelujah. Karama, huduma na wax. Kitaba uketi hapo. You need to have participated in one of those. Na ni mahali ambapo ukifanya unasikia na hapa nikifanya hapa ndio Mungu aliniita. Na ugojea watu wa kushukuru, unyoje shida ya watu, unagojea watu ukipanguza imeza vizuri unagojea watu wa kushukuru. Kama ni mwito. Niambia kitu. Nikihubiri leo mbarikiwe, you know I don't have to be told. Mimi kazi yangu ni kupendeza aliyeniita. Nambia, baba nimehubiri kama olivyo nitu. Unasikia. Shukurani ni kuteta mapenzi ya alie niita. Na nisikia kabisa ni mempedeza. In just Christ's name. Sasa, ukiona watu hata wafukutabui na nini, you are okay. Kwa maana mbulimalizana na mwenyari kutuma. You are satisfied because you did the work of the one who sent you. In just Christ's name. Haleluya. Haleluya. Sia tukikaka, unasema, kadisa ni metebea mugu, hawaje nunia boda boda. Kai. Sometimes I wada. Nikuwa na uja watu, misa mi bishop. Mimi huwa nalia nani. You know sometimes, wea ni general of Asia, iso kuwa mugu. Sometimes, kuna mambo ni konao, hakuna bishop na yesa apia. Hakuna mshirika. No one. 
Kwa maana ile level niko sasa sometime unataka kitu kiabia bishop fulani umeela. Unakuta sasa huwa anakugojea. Bishop naomba unataka tu ukuje. Unisaidie tununue gari. Na, nataka tu ukuje. Unisaidie. Unisaidie watu wameniingilia. Sometimes to me who do I run to? Lazima niombe sana. Amen. And sometimes unapata kuna mtu mmoja aniambia bishop unajua tulikuwa mkutano mahali the whole night na wewe Mungu amekusaidia sana tulikuwa tunapanga jama ya kukuinukia kukuagamiza nikamwambia is okay amkufaulu wewe tulipokuja dakika tano ulikuwa umetuweza wewe unaobaka sana ha sawa kama wewe ni mtu wa hasira huwezi kubiri tena how can people sit in a hotel the whole night and it, it never and i was still working with them you don't care so much you don't care so much do you know sometimes mmoja kaniambia hivi bishop can i see you yes bwana mimi nitokea usiku kaniambia nisimame na wewe nisipofanya hivyo nitaisha oh sawa kuja hapa nyuma twende mkaja bishop meka 25 tumekuwa na wewe sijakuelewa sasa ndio nimejua ni mtumishi wa Mungu oh kwa hivyo 25 years nilivumilia alinielewa baada 25 years you must know god wapendwa they that know their god shall be strong hallelujah and that's why today ninakwambia kuwe na kitu mungu ameanza ndani yako ambao wapendwa tukizeeka i was telling the school teachers nikawaambia sasa wasitoe the school teachers waitu hata Monday school Tuesday school because wamezoea sad so much but they are never teachers on Monday Tuesday and Wednesday Saturday school teacher na nikasema hiyo jira tabadilisha waitwe you know Paul alikuwa anasema anje alikuwa anasema Paul apostle of Jesus Christ by the grace of God separated unto the gospel mtu ambao is a calling wewe bwana ibaka tu sadi you should you know let it be a calling every time hata tukija fellowship monday you are there tukiwa na mazishi you are there tukiwa na nini you are there ukiwa kwa nyumba hata bila you are there hallelujah you know one day tulikuwa tunaongea na brother gethuka kaka akambia sasa gethuka na huyu wibo ulita club bishop huyu wibo nilikuwa nimeenda fasting mungu anipe wibo you can imagine sababu ni muibaji throughout akasema bishop nilikuwa nimeenda wiki mbili mungu anipe wimbo akamwambia wimbo anasema bare noti yako hakuadika aliiba in the spirit akamaliza that's why i always tell singers i need to train you something else gospel singers here i know some some of these people they mwale hallelujah praise the lord one day nikao kwa nyumba wakati wa covid nikaona shiru wa GP ameweka wimbo gaio ni mwaki within few hours kwa youtube ilikuwa na kama 4 million na nikajua nimpigia simu wiki kadhaa akambia bishop niko kwa mlima nikaje oh sio wimbo wa kutunga hapana this must be a revelation kwamba ndio uwe mtu wa maana throughout sasa gino ulikuwa kwa duka yako lakini you, you still carry the ministry you still carry the ministry baba jo ako china kinunua vitu but you still carry the ministry mwambie bishop and was there i saw something for the altar i still carry the ministry niona screen about utaweka kwa madhabahu and i'm praying that god you use whatever you do throughout There's God working through you. Nataka kusikia kwa bishop. I'm still looking forward for a better keyboard. Kwa maana even when you at home you are still looking for a better one. Kwa maana it's always in you. Hallelujah. 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 You know so encourage when I saw a team from China ya bishop tulikuwa China na nikaona ile viti tunaweza nunua ya kanisa akasema yes they still had the church in their mind may the lord bless you people naomba kuwe na kazi ndani yako inaendelea you are not just sit 
Sisi si watu wa kudhuria ibada. Kuketi pamoja hivyo kuna kitu kinatushikanisha. Karama, huduma and the ministry of works. May the Lord anoint you. And that's why tunasema hivi, you must finish the race. Finish the race. Hallelujah. Uh, Philippians chapter 3. Philippians chapter 3 verse 12. Philippians chapter 3 verse 12. Inasema hivi. Mhm. Si kwamba nimekwisha kufika. Not that I've already attained. Kuna mambo mambo mawili. Any man or woman serving God huwa uko naye. Jabra kwanza. Ile kazi unafanya. Daima daima nasikia I've not already not that I've already attained. Not that I've already perfected. Sijafika na sijakamilisha. Ukikawa kanisani unasikia ulifika. No likamilika utajidaganya. Any calling. Any work. Any gift. In a tabia hip or sama. But I press on that I may lay hold of that for which Christ has already laid hold of me. Hey, hey, hallelujah. You know, in Kiswe Samahivi, si kwamba ni mekwisha kufika. Si o kwamba ni mekwisha kwamka. I have not attained. I have not perfected. Why? There is something yet glorious. Naona Christo ameshika hivi kwa ajiri yangu. Oh, sija ipa. I'm still pressing on. Sija ubili. I'm still pressing on. Sija upa. No guhoya. Oh, hey. Hallelujah. Sija ubili. I've not attained. I've not perfected. Lakini Bible nasema kwamba. Hallelujah. Bali na kasa mwendo. Ili ni pate kulishika lile. Abalo kwa ajri yake. Ni meshikwa na kristo. Hallelujah. If you go to verse 13. Yasemaji. Dugu. Another thing. Sidhani. Sijidhani nafsi yangu. Kwa mba ni mekwisha kushika. I'll never allow my heart kuona kwa mba ni meshika. Ila na teta neno moja tu ni kia sahawe ya liyo nyuma. Ni kia chuchumilia ya liyo mbele. Verse 14 na kaza mwendo. Ni fikirie mende ya thawabu ya mwito mkuwa mungu kata Tika Christo. I press toward the goal for the price of upward call of God in Christ Jesus. Hallelujah. Do you know how taki kuonekana umefika? Kansani ukiketi ni kama ulifika. Uliiba nyibo tatu ukafika. I know gospel singers, my friends, who sang very well. Akafike mefika, wameisha. Kuna moja jana menita futa sana. Ya bishop, I'm sick, I'm dying. Kuna mutu aliyoa, akawana mefika. Ulitakajika. Kuna mutu alijenga nyumba kama iteme, nikajenga hii, nikajenga ingine. Sijafika. Tabia moja ya mutu ambao ameitua. Kuna kitu ambacho kina itua up the price of upward call. Say after me, the price of upward call. Hallelujah. Kuna kitu ambacho huja pata. Ata ubidia watu wa inagani. The price of upward call. Mahali kristo wa meketi. Anayambia 
jana hujamaliza paka ufike mahali nipo you have not won until you reach where Christ is seated you have not reached until uone nimekuleta pahali nilikuahidi nimekuadalia makao haujajenga kwa maana kuna ingine imejengwa na mkono wa Mungu taishi in heaven ah, hallelujah haujakula paka utakapokula mana ya mbinguni Kristo akasibia wanafunzi wake hii walipokuwa kikula meza ya bwana ya mwisho akasema hii nitaikula tena kule haleluya haujafurahi mpaka when you get to the city of God wakati thousands and thousands will gather tumwimbie mwana kondoo wimbo sio na mwisho i have not yet attained wapendo wa lazima uonekane kuna mbio uko nao kwa maana hujafika haleluya Ukiona familia yako jioni imeketi wanacheka cheka don't think wamefika. Abia Bwana Lord I pray that these people will one day be found at the feet of Jesus. No baba na huyu mtoto wangu one day atapewa taji akishida haya mambo. Usiweke anybody kama amefika. Kwa maana walio dhania wamefika. Pasa sema si dhanini nimekwisha kufika. Si dhanini nimekwisha kushika. I pressed for to us the goal which is the goal the price of the upward calling in Jesus name. Now katika ibada ya pili we are going to see a journey of a call. Ya mtu aliyekuwa anaitwa Joseph it has about six steps. Na vile sometimes mtu hupitia mambo mpaka unafika pahali ya bapo. In most cases Mungu hukupatia two visions of the calling. Hallelujah. Mungu anapokuita Kila bahua interesting anakupatia tu jina la mwito lakini hakuambii kwamba utapitia wapi when god called israel aliwambiaje munaenda inchi pana tena nzuri he never talked about the desert hallelujah praise god god will show you two things in this life one utukufu wa mwito ulio mbele mahali anataka ufike in this life and the second thing atakuonyesha ni kwamba ukifika hapo nitakuita uende pahali pengine god can never tell you kwamba nimekuita uwe na shaba kubwa nimekuita hubiria watu waokoke kwa milioni god will also tell you when you finish this i will call you home there is another calling right to upward call the price of upward call hallelujah kwamba nimehubiria millions wakaokoka that's why mzee mmoja anaitwa Simeon aliabua we hautaona kifo before you see messiah na macho yako Kristo alipopeleka kwa hekaro akamwasama baba sasa nipe pumziko niite nije sasa katika maisha aliabuaje the climax of your calling one day you see Messiah with your own eyes. Akaze kabwana miaka 100 hakufi. Alipoona huyu ni Messiah akasema now I can experience now the price of upward calling. Niite sasa nije kwako. Ya dunia nimemaliza. Ya dunia niliambia I will see Messiah with my eyes. This is the climax of my calling. Now I can come home. Sijafika mwisho. Mwisho ni kwamba I want to come where you are oh God. I pray hamtatosheka. Sometimes naona kama umetosheka ninaogopa. We need nataka kuona dada about you are still praying. I want to see somebody say I have not attained, I have not been perfected kwa maana ninakimbiza kitu kinaitwa the price of upward calling. I see Jesus. Simoni 
kwa crusade atabudi ya mwisho wangu nilimuona akiponya nilimuona akiokoa nilimuona akinipatia pesa but i still see him in another method he is seated at the right hand of god the father ananiambia hujafika kuna thawabu that is the price of your calling it's nowhere on the world niko naye mimi meketi you must come where i am hallelujah may god bless you mnapofanya kazi hii na kukimbia sana kwa maana very soon utafika mwisho wa safari na bwana atakwambia you are still remaining with the price of the upward calling may god bless this church let's start for prayer